Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to talk about uh, driver logic 4.0. Uh, we made numerous improvements behind the scenes uh, for the stability of the app, but there's also some things that are going to make your driver's lives easier and better. So first, as you can see on the login screen, there is one major thing that's different, which is the forgot password uh, slash reset uh, password button that will let your drivers reset um, their password with ease. All they'll need is their email address that, are, that is attached to their driver account. And then through phone verification, they'll get a code and they can <clears throat> reset their password easily. Now with that out of the way, we're going to log in and go through the whole process. So we're going to log in here. We will get a little pop-up that's going to say ready to make money, start accepting orders. And this essentially is a quick check-in button, right? So they don't have to go to change status um, and then go check in. They can just get a pop-up every time they open the app and they can choose not to with an X over here. But for now, let's just go ahead and start accepting orders. Now that we are in the system, uh, let's go over uh, an order process from start to finish and then I'll show you a couple more things that have been changed uh, but before we do that I just want to mention that we did rearrange some of these icons so it's easier to access so now the drivers can uh, click on orders and chat which is the functions they will use the most uh, and they can reach them the easiest uh, this way around while the account and reports will be on the other side so now let's just go ahead and uh, test this order right here we will send it over and we will send it to the driver. And now, as you can see, we get the little pop-up that we received an order. And now we have an order right here. Now you will see that the preview is slightly different and uh, you will get the order number right here. Uh, the color and the status will be here. Then we have quick restaurant info from where we're picking up the food, uh, a pickup time and estimated pay. Now we do have a accept or reject and this is optional and you can change this by going to your uh, admin backend and then you can navigate to uh, settings tab right here. And then if you find the driver logic uh, right here, uh, you will be able to enable, uh, enable or disable some of the, these optional features that I will let you know. Um, but right here you have allow driver to reject an order. And as you can see, that is checked off. So in this case, we see it here, but we're going to open the order or we can just accept it from the quick preview. Now, once we do that, uh, we will be moved to the restaurant and customer info tabs. Um, just so we have an, an idea where we need to go. Uh, and now you will have a pickup time and due time, as well as the order number. Now you will see that there is this little orange button right here. And if we click on it, we will get a pull up that says uh, pick up notes and pick up at second window, please. Uh, now you can change this. Uh, if you navigate to your restaurant's uh, info tab, and under the driver pickup instructions right here, you will be able to change this information to whatever you need it to be. So now that we know everything we need to know before we start processing an order, we are going to place this order. And we will quickly go back in here. You can see that the status has changed and we will mark us as a driver arrived. Now, once we do that, we will, uh, we will get a uh, pop-up that says, uh, the display special instructions. So in this case, it says pick up at second window and then it tells the driver, Hey, you can see this note again by clicking the little orange button, which is great. So now we can slide that off. And now we also have a checklist, which is also optional. And you can also disable it, uh, with the settings that I showed you previously. So we can check these items off, make sure we got everything. And then we can mark uh, the order and route. Now, once we do that, uh, you will see that our navigation app is going to automatically, uh, pull up, uh, the address towards the customer. 
and as you can see it's a little far <laughs> in this case but that is all right so now that we have this information and before we drop the order off what we can do right we have checked everything off we got all the information right and before we actually deliver the food uh, we can take a picture of it now and upload it. So we're going to click here and we have this nice little wafer here and we are going to say, here you go. We're going to accept or retake the picture if we want to. We're going to hit accept and we're going to say we got ID verification, um, customers, uh, wife accepted the order or receive the order. All right, and now we'll, when we do that, we're going to submit a photo. And there we go. And now if we scroll down, we actually see that we have this uh, photo uploaded and the note we left uh, for this specific order. Now, when we're marking this order delivered, what we can do is we will confirm that this is the amount uh, because this is a cash order. So we're going to uh, verify that that's the amount that we need to receive. We will confirm. And now uh, there's a, a customer uh, confirmation and we can say who picked, uh, who uh, received the order. And we can say it wasn't Bob. It was a family member, his wife. And we will click confirm. <clears throat> and now, you will also be able to get a signature. <clears throat> so all we have to do, this is also optional and you can completely disable this with these settings that I told you about, which is going to be right here, allow customer signatures. And we will sign. <clears throat> all right, so now that the signature has been uh, put in the order, uh, we will have our order marked as delivered, as you can see here. And then we can go back in here and review it. And we can also see that we have the signature and we have the photo of the food and the order has been delivered. Now, from here, uh, we can also take a look at the chat and you can see that the windows are much easier to read now. Uh, and also we can go to reports and you can say, uh, you can see how much you're owed or how much you owe if you did process any cash orders. In this case, we have the breakdown for this day today. And then we have order details also like a breakdown of every order that we've done. As you can see, there's two different orders here. We see exactly how much we made and what the payment type was, as well as the delivery fees earned and tips earned. And we can also easily navigate through this and change the dates. And then we can say March let's say 20th and the items are going to change. Obviously it's going to show us the order details from that period. And there we go. So that's the reports. And then under account, uh, you will see how many orders you delivered, how many you had in total or how many have you in progress. Then also under your, uh, login email, you will see what your status currently is, um, as well as your first last name, your email, and then this is the really important part. If you encounter any issues with your drivers, uh, please have your drivers uh, take photos of the app info tabs. So you will have this probably screenshot and then a screenshot below it because there's a couple more fields under here, which will help us determine if, you know, if the driver has the app that's completely up to date, if there's any issues with um, where the information is being sent to him. So always make sure that they take those photos before submitting tickets. And obviously the log logout button is going to be here as well. And there we go. Uh, the change status is still the same as always. We have the go and break and last run. So we're not gonna uh, run through this too much, but go and break means that we can select a time, let's say a 10 minute break, and then the timer is gonna go off. Uh, when the timer hits, uh, zero, uh, it will check the driver back in, or we can just end break and we will be back to accepting orders. And then last run is going to mean that if, uh, this is the last order we're going to run. And after we mark that last order delivered, we're going to be automatically checked out. So 
there we go and then we can here choose to check out and we are done uh thank you guys for watching uh, if you have any questions free feel free to reach out and we will get back to you thank you so much and until the next video